my new microscope to play with and um, in this slide this is my red and white that's showing symptoms of dropsy so these little swimming around tinier swirly ones I have some copper in the water right now so it's a little discolored but this big swirly one up there with the big white section that's ick that's what ick looks like and this little tiny circle moving around that's that udinium and then I am again if I can find it finding flukes again so the eggs must the PP must not have gotten the eggs and uh, there's another one of the the big ick ones the PP must not have gotten the eggs so then they started hatching out and I did find some flukes on here at first alive but they were dying so the copper is a harsh medication but it does seem to be killing off the flukes I had found one live fluke on here see that's a dead one right there that 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 kind of looks like a dis, uh, disposed of condom that's a dead fluke so this copper sulfate is killing off the flukes um, I have seen see there's some more dead flukes but oh, this udinium parasite is just a pain in the ass so it looks like one is dying right there. Like the bigger, once they get bigger, like that would have been one that was bigger of the swirly udinium parasites. See, there's another one there. And my red and white with the dropsy, you know, he's, he's just kind of loaded with these things because they're taking over because his immune system is shot right now. So he's got... There's another fluke body, so at least, at least the copper seems to be killing the flukes off again. So I've got three days off. I'm going to do a bucket to bucket. So they, he's only been in there for like an hour, and the flukes are already dying. So we're going to see, because it is just at the minimum dose, we're going to see if, if at... Uh, I have a bubbler going in there and we're going to see in 10-12 hours when I scrape again if we're still finding the swimming udinium. So see that? If I can get it in clearer right there. That's apparently one of those Let's see if I can up. This is the first time I've been messing with this microscope, so bear with me here. But this is this is the apparent half half plant parasite. So it can survive on its own using chloroplast and then also feed on unfortunately your fish if it if it can't utilize it doesn't have enough um, plant source then it can turn into a parasite and in case of immune suppression it can overwhelm and mass produce so it does have kind of the uh, I'm guessing these are like ciliated legs that it moves with and then you know like I said the water's kind of I think tinged because it's got the copper sulfate in there more normally when I look through the slide I can see the green so I'm hoping because otherwise I'm at my wits end because uh, because oh is it dying it just stopped moving because the copper sulfate is kind of my last resort so I have seen a few 
that looks like the copper hit them and they just kind of dissolved apart. Now this one just all of a sudden stopped moving and they don't stop moving. So I'm thinking um, the copper is working. So I'm going to have to do a bucket to bucket with every single one of my fish into the cleaned and bleached tanks and hopefully that will get rid of these and um, the flukes that I've seen that are already dying so this has been quite a learning experience so but I'm really, really loving this new microscope that I can take video clips at the same time. See, there's another one that's still moving. But I'm not seeing any flukes moving anymore. Well, there's at least that. And I have seen a couple of those things that have died. So, and we're only an hour into treatment. So, that's that's a flukes corpse right there. If I can... That's a dead fluke right there. You can see kind of the little hooks there at the end. That's just an air bubble. So. And that's a cat. 